This is News OK TV. This is News OK TV. Hey everyone, I'm Dave Morris. It's News OK TV. I'm drinking out of my Opubco coffee mug because <laughs> things are about to get chilly around Oklahoma City. I know it, I know it. And I'm Angie Bruss. It is Wednesday, November 2nd, 2011. Thank you so much for joining us. Expect dry weather and plenty of sunshine Thursday. Well, a cold front and blustery morning will give way to light winds. Highs in the 50s for the afternoon. We'll get off to a chilly start on Friday morning. There will be plenty of sunshine and mild temperatures later in the day. Expect a slight warm up beginning on Friday. You see it right there, 67 and 67. Last into the weekend. Next chance of rain could come early next week. Ten protesters participating in the Occupy Tulsa demonstration arrested on early Wednesday. The protesters were camping out at a city park and the group is accused of violating the park curfew. Police say the park has an 11 p.m. curfew. Continental Resources is cited for allegedly polluting water in North Dakota. The North Dakota Health Department issued violations for two separate incidents in April. Court documents show about 10 barrels of drilling mud and oil overflowed, contaminating soil water. A spokesman for the Enid-based company said they received the notices late Monday and could not comment. Continental has about two weeks to respond to the violation notices. Integris Health could use a Florida company to operate five Oklahoma hospitals. Integris has entered into a letter of intent with the management group and the partnership is expected to become final early next year. The Florida company would oversee health facilities in Blackwell, Clinton, Medill, Pryor and Seminole. Oklahoma State football coach Mike Gundy thinks Justin Blackman should declare for the NFL draft after this season. Blackman opted to return for his junior season after winning the Blitnikoff Award in 2010. However, Coach Gundy does not expect the Cowboy wide receiver to return next season. Number 81 coming off his best game of the year, 13 catches for 172 yards against the Baylor Bears. Roger Waters, co-founder of Pink Floyd, is bringing the production of The Wall Live to Tulsa next year. The classic album will come to life at the BOK Center on May 5th. Tickets will go on sale at 10 a.m. on Monday, November 14th. Reduction Theatre Company begins season with Hamlet, opens on Thursday. The group will perform the Shakespeare Classic with just seven actors. The play runs through the 19th at the Broadway Theatre in downtown Oklahoma City. You know, and they even brought in a uh, costume designer from New York. Really? Yeah, so it's their guest artist for this production. It's so exciting. That's so fun that, you know, someone from New York is. And they actually had good things to say. I interviewed them. They had good things to say about Oklahoma's vintage clothing. So that's oh, wow, great. really? They said there's an abundance of it. So Who knew? <laughs> that's great. I know it. <laughs> All right, very cool. Well, that'll wrap it up for this edition of News OK TV. Dave and Angie here. You can find uh, plenty of these videos and stories online. <laughs> Thank you.